Hello friends and welcome. In this video we are going to learn how to read input and then apply what are known as methods, change it a little and then display it back to the user in a modified form. So begin with the project. Let's extend that so it's nice and big. And we're going to add two controls this time. So first a text box. So let's search for that type T-E-X-T-B. Drag and drop a text box into the form. And by default these things are small so right click, properties, and then let's change the font size. So this is the same as with the label. Make it big so it's easy to see. Click OK. And then pull it to the right. All right. And under the text box here, we're going to place a label. Now, as with the labels, if I right click back on the box for a second and go to its properties, and scroll down, I have this a lot of the same properties. So. I'll change the name to txt and we'll call it input. So that is the name of this object in code in C sharp. And then click enter. Next, let's put a label. In other words, a place to display our output. Drag a label in there. And right click the label, properties. And now because we want to be able to see how trimming away blank spaces from the ends work, we're going to give the label a background color and then change the font so it's big. So make sure the label is selected, change the font size, say 36, click OK. All right, eliminate the text value and then also change the background color. So that is that property right there, color. All right, click on the custom tab and select some bright color like pink. So that is that. Now, we want to make our application dynamic, which means as we type, we want to see the results immediately. So how can we go about that? Left click on the text box, left double click. And that brings up the event handler, the code that executes as you type in the text inside the box changes. So what we are going to do is following, we'll say label one, that is what the label is called by default. I haven't changed that, that's why I'm typing label one. That is what the program names it. Uh, text, that is a text property. And when you have a mouse over the text property, you know, there are two of them. There is the get and the set. So you can both set the text property and you can also get the value out of it in both cases, you see? So like that. And now we're going to reach into the text box, get the text out. So we will say text box, text input, dot, text. So all this is doing is just reading the input from the box and then saving it to the text in the label. Now let's perform one action on it. Actions are usually done using methods. So type dot, and then what shows up on the screen is IntelliSense with a list of methods. So you can do all kinds of things. You see all of these things are things that you can perform, actions that you can take, things that you can do to the string. So for example, you can convert everything to uppercase and so on. So in my case, I'll just choose to lower like that. And then close with parentheses like that. Now the parentheses are required for our purposes at the stage as syntax. If you don't have them, it's going to give you an error. You see that? So parentheses are a requirement at this stage. So what have we created here? Well, let's go over it. First of all, look at the right side first. What is the right side saying? It's saying the following. TXT that input, like that. That text means grab the text from the text box and at the next stage txt dot input dot text dot to lower means convert the text value to lower case see and as before the equal sign will take that converted version of the text and equal sign saves it to the label text property. 
All right, that is that. So let's run this and observe the results. Start. All right, and we'll say this is a, and I'm changing, notice the case, right? A to be alive. Regardless of how you type, when you look at this, everything is converted to lowercase. There you go. And I wanted to have the pink background to emphasize that. Take a look. In this case, if I have a blank at the front, the blank is copied over also down below. If I have blank spaces at the end, they're also copied down below. That's why I have, see the pink area now goes the right into the left. So if you want to trim away blanks, we can do that as follows. I'm going to close this. Close that panel. And I'm going to type dot trim. All right, so let's add a description here. We'll say, lastly, txt and put that text like that dot to lower dot trim has the following effect read it convert it to lowercase trim away blanks on either end so trims away blanks on both ends of the input and then that version is shown back to the user let's convince ourselves that this is so as follows let's run it click start Okay, and now I will say this is a great day to be alive. So first of all, if I do this, see, before, right, this was copied. The blank space were copied. Now, even with the blanks right there, they're not copied into the label, you see? And even if I have blanks at the end, which means I do that, they're not copied again. You see, it didn't grow in size on either end. But if I add even one letter, then it's immediately restored as it should be. And I do that, it disappears. So that is the action, the result of running trim. You trim away blanks from either end. Let me close this. Close that. There you go. And this here is specifically known as method chaining because your chaining method calls. First, you call to lower and then you call trim. So this is chaining them from left to right. And a really important thing is to observe the following here. So data type of text, data type on the left matches data type from the last method on the right. For our simple purposes at this stage, this is a good observation. Hold your mouse over the text right here, label one that text, that is a string. Hold your mouse over the trim method, and you see where it says string. So the two data types are matched. There's no clash, no confusion. As a common theme throughout C Sharp. And that is it for this one. Thank you so much, friends, and I will see you in the next video.